All right, everyone, welcome back to more Gibbous. I'm Disturbing Puppets. We're continuing from where we left off last time. We are working on getting our way out of Darkham and heading to Fishmouth, so our replacements for Arkham and Innsmouth. Um, so we have most of the ingredients we need for a voodoo doll. So we have the scissors, we have the picture, we need a doll, and there's a little girl with a doll, so we need to get it. Uh, the thing I've been trying to figure out is how to get it down. I've tried pretty much everything I have, so there's one other thing that I can do, which I think should just come up in text, but doesn't, if I want to talk to the cat. Yeah, so this is kind of an irritating design thing, so instead of just being able to ask her to get it again, now that we've done everything else, I can't. What I have to do is use the cat up here, I think. Hey, Kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry, but okay, we're quid pro quo -ing. Creepy fish. All right, Miss Know-It-All, I think we need to have a talk about you helping out whenever I consider it necessary. Geez, fine. You were right this time, okay? Sheesh. So from now on, you'll help out when I tell you to? Ask me to. And that's a maybe. Let's say I'll be more inclined to. <sighs> I'll take it. Right. So, anyway, um, the whole point is that uh, asking her to do that is sort of... Uh, the way it was set up was kind of odd because I couldn't ask her to do it before. She wanted something in exchange. So I was thinking, okay, I need to get her some fish or something. Get some fish out of here or break into the uh, fish place. Nope. Um, resolve other things. So she even tells you, hey, resolve all that other stuff. And her eyes follow the cursor. Um, resolve everything else with the voodoo guy. Okay, already did that, basically. And then still wouldn't do it and said, no, go resolve stuff with the voodoo guy. So I had to find out the stuff from the taxi guy, then talk to the voodoo guy about the taxi guy situation. Then I could do all this. So anyway, we're on to the next thing. So we just need to give the doll to Priscilla. All right, Priscilla, here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. Hmm. Deal, creep. This town, man, this freaking town. All right, back to Voodoo Guy. I'm assuming we have to go back to Voodoo Guy. Or he's just going to have me do it myself. Uh, so a specific order we have to use the Voodoo stuff. But we already have the book for that. I just don't remember what it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, according to this treatise, I think the order we should use the items is someone attractive, doll, thing that cuts. Okay. Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? All right, what do you want to call it? Asenath. Asenath it is. So, that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? Well, it was picture first, wasn't it? So the only one first is picture doll scissors. Picture. Doll. Scissors. All right, here we go. Jambalaya! Uh, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. <laughs> I told you, a deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. Okay, we did some good, I guess. <laughs> Karma and dubious morality. All right. So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? 
Well, not everything, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kitty back now. You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. No, we still have to go to Fishmouth, then find the guy that he told us about in Fishmouth, and then ask him for help. That's So we've got quite a long ways to go before we're going to be changing the cat back to normal. Alright, talk to Taxi Man. Come on. Heard from Ed lately? You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 no. You're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. Azanet left him for a male model. My God, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, want to go to Fishmouth? Want? No. But I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kitty? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. Ah, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Alright, on to the next chapter, I think. Probably. At least the next location. Chapter 2, The Temple. Oh, where am I? What happened? Hey, we're back in control of Detective R. Ketype. What do we have? We got the diary. Woke up in a strange basement with a pulsating headache and no shoes on, and they, whoever they are, gave me slippers. Slippers. Need to concoct a way to escape this dump. Plenty of junk lying around. Maybe I could rig something up. <laughs> I don't know how much that sounds like Adam Jensen. I didn't ask for this. All right, what do we got? All kinds of crap. We've got a window. There was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. So we seem to have an alarmed metal door. Can we show me out no there? There was no time for anything else. All, All right, never mind. Starry wallpaper. There was no time for anything else. Okay. Well, maybe it just wants me to jump right to the door, and then I can screw around with stuff. Uh, I can't interact with the metal door, though. That's the way out of here. Hey! You out there! Let me out of here, you dirtbags! Come on, who's out there? Hello? Nothing. So, this isn't going to be easy after all. I started to take in my surroundings and bing, bang, boom. I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was going to do big, loud things with petty stuff, like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. Well, we've got something glowing here. Tablet. Whoever tossed me into the clink must have left this here for my amusement. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. Okay. Current enemy. Sturdy metal door. <laughs> okay. Alright, what do we have? Fire extinguisher. Warning! This is an ultra-powerful fire extinguisher. You have probably purchased this item because you're either a hardcore forest fire fighting enthusiast, you work at a kerosene factory, or you practice occult rituals involving high temperature immolation. Please make sure your feet are firmly set on the ground and you're ideally leaning against a sturdy wall when you unleash this bad boy. Leave premises immediately if operating grip on extinguisher is lost. You have no chance to regain control of it. Hmm. Mm. Extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. Alright, so we potentially have a jetpack in the making. 
Uh, story wallpaper. Is he still not going to be excited That's an about this? Odd choice for a detention type basement. Parish of Starry Knowledge Camp highlights. So, that's who I'm dealing with, huh? Yeah, that was from, uh, what was it, this Starry something uh, was in one of the Lovecraft stories. Judging by its placement, it seems I'm in a basement. Church huh, of the Starry. Rhymes. Something. I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy-duty power tools. Bars? I see no bars on the window, but uh, okay, sure. Right, so we've got the bed. There's a mug, apparently. Whoever these bozos are, they left an empty mug for me. Thanks a lot. Pennies to pachyderms. I'll find something to fill it. Okay. The wall of pictures... There's another window there, but I can't interact with it. We've got junk. Discarded food, fish bones, a flotation device, random trash. Nothing there of any utility. It's what scientists have lately been calling a plank. It's terrible. Things are ramping up. Hmm. Okay. For some reason, there are barrels of tar everywhere. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilt on the floor. That's a lot of dense, sticky tar. Seems to be a lot of it around. Okay. Let's use the mug on the tar pot. All right. Let's get me some of this tar. All right. Mug of tar. Tar mug. Got me a mug full of tar, and I ain't afraid to use it. Okay, well, I could make a weapon. They're maybe. somehow connected, but maybe not directly. All right. Yeah, saying more like a ramp. Okay, with that, what I picked it up. There's an empty soup can. This once contained soup like the earth once contained dinosaurs. I could use this. Okay, do I need more tar? It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. Okay, so no, that doesn't go there. Uh, empty soup can. I don't think I can combine them directly. Yeah, maybe, but not in my pocket. <laughs> okay. All right, probably need to do something to the metal door. Set things up. I would think I'd be maybe firing the barrel. Wow, that's unexpected. A pristine rag in this smelly, filthy basement. Like using the fire extinguisher to push the barrel into the door, maybe? Okay, pristine rag. No idea how this stayed so clean in this dump, but I'm keeping it. Okay. Anything else? Got the pipes, there's the door itself. Hmm. Nah, I could use this plank for something else. Can't select the floor. It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. I think I might need it on the stairs. Hmm. Can I pry the barrel? I got nothing. No? Okay. I don't have to clean it. Okay, so we use this to clean stuff. I don't need to clean this thing. Clean yourself. Okay, didn't select him. Um, all right. Huh. Why is the tablet here? That is my question. It doesn't need cleaning. That 
that's not going to help one bit. Yeah. So I can't combine things, it seems like, with what I have. I still think combining these two. Somehow connected. Maybe not directly. Can't use these directly. Not in my pocket. Hmm. All right, fire extinguisher on the hmm. door. That could work. I still need to find a way to angle it just right. Can't do it from the hip. Okay. So I need something to guide it at the door. I, mean, I feel like I've found everything. I could check. Oh, slippers. Oh, isn't that nice? Leave a man shoeless and offer him slippers. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricool record, and a searing fear of the telephone. <laughs> okay. All right, what kind of would make sense? I still feel like we should be using this barrel, but I don't know how we would. So I can't pry it out or do anything. It's a little hard to see because it is quite dark. There isn't a way to lighten this up either. Uh, there's no gamma control. All right. What do we want to do? Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. I thought we might see something. Hmm. Knife to a gunfight. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I need to set it down somewhere. Tar mug on the puddle? No. No reason to trash a perfectly good dongle. Yeah, I was thinking I've got to set something down to then use too abstract as a way to guide the uh, fire extinguisher into the door. All right, let's check if I'm missing anything. A uh, recess, yes, and a shoe. It's really hard to see stuff, so, like, I can't even see that shoe at all. A single shoe. Part of a matched pair. Lost. Alone. Makes me sick. I'm sorry, I... I can't do it. Not since the separation. Um, okay. Alright, there's a recess, which I also didn't see and can barely there's see. There's a recess in the floorboards here. I'm not wearing any shoes. Might as well watch my step. Nah. It's no use just by itself. Right. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. I think I need something else there first, to get the right angle. All right, let's stick this in there. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract, ridiculous, absurd even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, so I guess I was just... adapting. It's adventure game logic. And a plank. This was officially ridiculous. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite and resounding no. But it was all I had. Do you think you'd need something to connect to these two? Some kind of ramp thing. Look at this. A cringeworthy blue ribbon taker in the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low, though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac. And Cheese. I'm not sure if it's actually showing, but we're getting a little achievement up there. All right, improvised rocket ramp. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour... I didn't really make calculations. Yeah, we're just going by the seat of our pants. It's probably just going to clang off of it, but... All right, door. Brace for a serious, imminent impact. Prisoner. The boss wants to see you. Come on out here. Fire! You've got to be kidding me. Fire! I would have shot him in the head anyway. Mr. Katype, or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. Katype will do just fine. 
We provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. Unless I'm in the comfort of my own home, I don't do slippers. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, you barbarian. What is this place, and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now, don't take it personally, Katype. You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100% certain. Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Kind of. Y yes your starriness. Well, don't just stand there, you fool. Let's see it. Well, we we don't really have it. What? A sigil was gone, broken into tiny little pieces. And something had clearly been hidden in there, but no book in sight. Good type? Everything was intact when I was in there. So don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing. We ran past each other when we were on our way to collect a tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looked scared. A bomb had just gone off. Anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, wait. Yes. He was carrying a big book. And didn't seem too happy about it either. Find me this librarian now. What about me? You don't need me anymore. Oh, just go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. You just chew into our rations, and you don't know anything either way. Oh, all right, just sacrifice him to the Haunter or something. Stop bothering me! Fine with me, boss. Walk, prisoner. Well, we talked our way into getting sacrificed. Uh, I'm gonna need someone from rites and rituals down here ASAP. I'm about to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys? Guys? Sheen? You out there? Anyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNF 187. We don't want any trouble with Colt Union. We've been through this, people. Is anyone out there? Guys? Prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD's kicking our derriers. I'm embarrassed. The prisoner's embarrassed. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? Flair? You guys totally bolted, didn't you? Starburst is not gonna be happy when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. I almost feel like apologizing to the would-be victim. Hey, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it. I take my responsibilities seriously. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. Well, um, if you want to stand right there, that looks a my dagger right. arm's falling asleep here, and I'm not even kidding. This guy's liable to die of old age before I get my paperwork. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is a. Bye bye. Sweet dreams, star lover. I just shattered his rib cage. All right. Well, yeah, something they mentioned, it seemed like they didn't know about the bomb, so I thought at first they had set the bomb, but it must have been one of the other cults that uh, did that. All right. Let's get out of here. Well, maybe I should try to take the tablet or the slippers. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, he's potentially alive. I just want to see if I can actually pick up anything here real quick. 
distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. All right. And the slippers are somewhere. I ain't putting on slippers unless I... All right. Same thing. Okay, we've got a ladder, probably our escape. There's a rail, because it's fun. What else do we have? Check out the desk. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. Okay. Not a particularly... I'm not into this desk at all. I'd gotten lucky with the fire extinguisher. Must not have triggered it completely. It still had a lot of, huh, fire in it. It was just as hard to control as before. But I had a feeling I could put it to good use one more time. All right. You're coming with me. Oh, I got something. Got my fire extinguisher ram rocket back, and it still packs a punch. Maybe I could squeeze another miracle out of it. All right, Brother Gleam. Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. With a shattered ribcage. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Okay. It's a huge barricaded door. Right. Let's look here. We've got cracked surface. Got a serious structural hazard over here. What? We're in the basement of... I believe my way out is through that cracked surface in the wall. Just need the right kind of tool, the right kind of properties. That is very hard and swingable. All right. It appears to be dusk outside. No way to reach it. Well, I mean, we've got a ladder here still. We'll check that out. It seems like he wants to bust down the wall. I would just think, yeah, just go up the ladder, dude. All right, what else do we have? Anything? Astronomical mumbo jumbo. It's a heap of astronomy related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. It's a very useful looking piece of wire. <laughs> okay. I think I'd rather just pick it up. All right. An unassuming small piece of wire that could come in real handy. I don't know why, but it's all right. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. Not in the mood for star stuff, really. Gotta know them stars, I guess. I think I can reach if I leap. Go for it. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Hmm. Okay. Tried to miss the starry flag, but I can't seem to break it loose. Okay, something regarding the flag. Tie it around you. Hmm. Huge, sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that Gleam guy, either. Okay. Is there anything else? Pretty much always something I miss, which I do kind of like. They have a thing where you just hit the space bar and kind of see everything. In case you're stuck, which is nice, because sometimes you do just miss things. All right, let's check out the ladder and the rail here. It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Hmm. Can I take it? The hatch is there. Let's look at the hatch. Looks like a hatch heading to an upper floor. Damn it! How'd I know it'd be locked? Disappointing. All right. I know I should focus on my escape, but that hatch leading up to God knows where is too tempting to ignore. What are these starry cooks up to? 
What are they hiding up there? Must be a way to get past that metal hatch. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. <laughs> nope. Okay, well... Seems like it wants me to get through the hatch, but then also use this for something. I can't tell where this is connected to. I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> that's how these games work. What are you talking about? Seems like a good idea, using the extinguisher to crack open the hatch. But that idea ain't but a few think ticks away from imagining that can bouncing all over the room at pressure. Filling the place with cloud and powder and knocking a Joe's lights all the way out. True. So, all the other thing we have is a piece of wire. Oh. I can't imagine that There's no anything. visible lock to pick on it, so... No. Okay. I don't see a reason to use this wire on the standard. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But that's kind of the way things go. All right, let's take a look. Um, floor, we didn't check out the floor. Let's take a look at the floor. A little color twist to the classic checkered temple floor. That's nice, I guess. I'm using it as I speak. <laughs> okay. Well, hmm. He's got enough of that for a while. <laughs> huh. Pristine rag. I wouldn't imagine it's corroded shut or anything like that. I wonder if there's anything else I can grab now that I've been out here. Go if I go back. I can't. Never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Can't see what that's attached to, so I'm not really sure what that would do, really. Even if I broke it. Hmm. I don't have a way to combine that. So we could go back and check. Is there a lock on the this desk? This desk doesn't need wiring. Okay. Okay, we could lock pick it. Uh, just because. I think I'm overestimating this poor <laughs> rag. Yeah. All right. Well. Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though, and these starry jamooks would be all over me like a shot. I'd never get to explore whatever it was hiding on the other side of that ladder. No. There I stood, a Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They dragged me here against my will, and I wasn't going to leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. Okay, so the obvious solution it's given me is now saying, no, we want to check out some other stuff first. All right. In that case, let's see if now that we've kind of looked at this, if there's anything different. There's nowhere else to go. So the tablet, I can't Distracted do is the last thing with. I want to be right now. Still the tar puddle, the slippers, barrel. No feathers in sight, thankfully. Okay. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. And I don't know what else I can do here. No wiring required. Right. I ain't cleaning that. Okay. Uh, there is the tar puddle. I don't know why I would do that. Nope. I ain't throwing it out there. I don't want to throw it out. 
I need it. Okay, so we can just throw things out. So maybe there's no glass in there. Um, odd. Very odd indeed. Okay. I don't see anything else. I mean, we do have the tar puddle still. We've got the slippers. It looks rigid, but not enough that you couldn't pour it. I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. Yeah, I've already done everything here, I think. I don't think that there's anything here connected to the other puzzle. At least it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well. This rail is really, really greasy. Either they lubricate it, or these star jamooks are some serious sebum seeping slime balls. Okay, so that makes me think I should try to use the rag on it. Um, I mean, he moved towards it, but didn't do anything. Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. All right. It looks very, very climbable. Wonder if it's locked. No, it's locked. Looking for hints or something by kind of reinteracting with How'd things. How'd I know it'd be locked? It's all about stars with these people for some reason. Okay, what do we have? Yeah, I don't know. The starry standard. I don't know if I read this. I know I should focus on my escape, but that hatch leading up to God knows where is too tempting to ignore. What are these starry kooks up to? What are they hiding up there? Must be a way to get past that metal hatch. Tried to mess with the starry flag, but I can't seem to break it loose. Huh. We're about out of time, but I kind of hate to stop, like, in the middle of something like this. It does give me an opportunity to kind of think. He'll make it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Okay. Odd that he's here. I've tried that stuff on him. Did I use this... I was obviously out of my element. Yeah. That made no sense whatsoever. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Can I knock Figures. over the bookshelf? Not in the mood for star stuff, really. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Huge barricaded door. Part of it, I think, is it's just so dark it's hard to see stuff, but we can have... You know, this to kind of see what else is there. I just don't see what else I could do. I mean... It's pretty shiny already. I don't know. I'm kind of grasping at straws no, now. I need it. I'm not into this desk at all. Move the desk. Get up on the desk. Uh, something like that. Jump from the desk onto the standard. Come on, help me out here. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. I'm not into this desk. Hmm. No way to reach it. Okay, if I just go up on the ladder, not going to the hatch. Okay, you just automatically Damn grab it. the hatch. How'd I know it'd be locked? So I can't like go up and jump for the window or jump to the desk or any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Only stars, no stripes. 
try to get some hints by sort of looking at I stuff. I think I can reach if I leap. Yeah, I mean, you can. It just doesn't do anything. Unless I have to do it a certain number of times. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. I mean, there's the barrel in the other room. But it didn't let me grab it or do anything with it. For some reason, there are barrels of tar everywhere. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. I want to pick one up and take it with me or something, or roll it forward. Hmm. Nothing there of any utility. No feathers in sight, thankfully. Okay, there's the one shoe, but it doesn't seem like that does anything I'm either. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. Not since the separation. Hmm. Look up a solution Distracted on the tablet. Is the last thing I... <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should be able to get up on the desk and, like, jump onto the standard, and that would do it. I can't move you, either. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. Yeah, if I could add his weight to mine... I can't combine items in the environment. Hmm. Books, more books, books. Break! Never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Break! Alright, is there anything else? Just the door. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here. Alright, I think we're going to have to go ahead and stop here, because I'm honestly not sure what to do. I thought we might have a quick solution, but uh, we're a little bit over the time. Um, I'm trying to keep these to about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere in that range, so we're kind of aiming for that. Um, yeah, next time we'll see if I can figure out what to do here. Um, I'll have to think about it. Alright, so until next time, this has been Gibbous. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks a lot for coming by. I hope to see you next time. Till then, have a good one.